Hello again, and in front of your eyes, you can see some LEDs happily flashing away. Let me explain what's happened, or what I've done. So I've uh, bought some bunches of LEDs for uh, setting up some Christmas decorations. There's four bunches here, one, two, three, four. Um, they um, have all come, I think there's 50 in each bunch. These are five volt. Um, they're WS2811, and the reason why they're 2811 is because they've got the IC is separated from the LED. Uh, WS2812s so have got the LEDs built into to them, but these um, chips are separate. These are in uh, what's called a bullet type of um, holder, and they've also been filled in with resin, which makes them waterproof as well. So they're great for putting outside uh, for Christmas lights, uh, Halloween lights, and that sort, sort of thing. So I've got my bench transformer set up at the moment and I was just sat here um, testing these lights and they've just arrived in the post. Um, I've just put a bit of tape onto this um, plus five volt lead here just so it doesn't short out against it, anything. And as you can see, this bunch of lights is working absolutely fine. Same as this bunch of lights are working and this bunch of lights are working. So let's put all those to one side and let's have a look at this bunch here. Now, as you can see, this bunch is slightly different. All I've done is taken the um, uh, elastic band off that was holding them together. And just the same as the little one, I just put a bit of tape around the plus five volt cables, so just so it doesn't short out against anything. Right, let's connect this one up and then you will see what the problem is. First of all, it's always difficult to put this one on. For some reason, I think the actual plug side of this is damaged slightly. So let's have a look what's going on. And as you can see, this half of the LEDs don't work. This half of the LEDs do work. And these two are the last in the chain. So this one's working. Oops, sorry, that one's working. That one's not. So there's a problem between these two, or there's a problem between this and this bunch of cable on this bunch of LEDs here. So what's going on? Well, at the moment, I don't know what's going on, but let's do a couple of tests um, and see if we can work it out. First of all, I'm going to put a little bit of foam between my two crock clips here, just so they don't short out while we're messing around. Oh, the controller, by the way, is just one of these really simple. It's a SP002E controller. 5 volts in, 5 volts out, and it's ideal just for testing, bench testing LEDs. I think this cost about 3 or 4 quid from eBay, very cheap. Right, um, let's have a quick look. First of all, I'm going to get my tester. And it's on um, DC voltage, um, and we're going to test sorry my cables in the right mess look at that mess that we're in just let me just untangle that mess so we're going to just test the voltages first off right that's better i can test them now so here at this end where the power comes in what are we showing on this so there we go Four point, uh, just over four volts coming in. Now that's because the lights are working in, it's drawing power. My bench power supply is saying 5.1 at the moment. So, oh, there we go, it's a better. So it's, it's near enough there, it's five volts or just short of five volts. That's okay. I'll take my bit of polystyrene back. So let's have a look at the other end. Are we getting any voltage coming out of this end as well? So let's connect this one up. So this is just a um, another connection, but with flying leads at the end. We'll put the ground on there. And we'll put the fire volts on there. Now, if you can see that, that's given us a 1.1 voltage, 1.1 volts dc at the end of there now that could be right that could be right because that could be the draw throughout all the leds so let's disconnect that 
we'll disconnect that push all those to one side we'll grab this bunch of LEDs and we're just going to connect this up exactly the same way so there's the LEDs that are on and working has it got a bit of tape on it? no it hasn't let me just put a bit of tape on that just so the 5 volts don't short out there we go right let's get our little tester and find the other end there it is and we'll do exactly the same test on here okay so on this one the um, power at the end is four about, 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 about four volts so there is definitely something going on so we even with all the leds lit in the pattern on the end we're getting just over four volts on a working set of lights but on this bunch we're only getting just over one volt so that to me says there's a, a pretty dramatic or drastic dramatic drastic there's a bad fault somewhere within here and it's got to be at this point here so i think what we'll do i think we'll cut out this led here join these cables together and see if it all continues to work it could be that this is just a bad one Right, so all I've done is just cut out the LED that wasn't lit. This is the first one that wasn't lit. And I've rejoined the connections here, uh, the uh, plus 5 volt, the ground, and the signal cable together. Put a bit of heat shrink on them, as you can see. So what we need to do now, uh, is, apart from the mess that's on my desk, is let's connect the power up again and see if it works uh, so uh, let's get right around okay brilliant so there we go so uh, those are now repaired and working um, all the leds are now lit to the end which is good so all it was was this one faulty LED here that was causing the problem. So instead of 50 LEDs, we've got 49 now. But that's okay, that's fine. Um, let's just double check to see what the voltage on the end here is. Um, 
before was getting about was it 1.1 volts or something like that uh, now we're getting what we I would expect to see which is just about 4 volts just short of 4 volts now so there we go that is exactly what I would expect um, and that is one um, run sorry I just wanted to make sure that my uh, cable was in the short. So that's all these bullet ones now. Uh, WS2811 LEDs now fixed. Thanks very much to this one damaged LED. Thanks very much for watching. Bit of a quick video this week. Uh, if you like what I do, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon.